About 30 miles south of the Norris Geyser Basin, Yellowstone National Park's Upper Geyser Basin is known for being home to some of the most stable geysers in the world. Old Faithful Geyser, for example, maintains a consistent eruption schedule, spewing hot water about every 90 minutes. Not far away, Castle Geyser is also known for its punctuality. With its tall, castle-like cone, this geyser typically erupts every 14 to 15 hours, making it one of Yellowstone's most predictable large geysers. In the lower geyser basin, Fountain Geyser has a more variable eruption pattern erupting every four to seven hours. Meanwhile, Beehive Geyser, named for its shape resembling a spinning teapot, typically erupts once or twice a day. But among all these geysers, Steamboat Geyser remains a major enigma. Located on the western side of the Norris Geyser Basin, this geyser is known for its unpredictability, with long periods of dormancy abruptly ending in violent eruptions. At approximately 10 p.m. local time, on the 10th of January 2026, Steamboat Geyser erupted again. This event attracted widespread attention after Jackson Hole Wildlife Safari's guide Jeremy Hutchison recorded a plume of white steam still rising into the air. The fact that the steam was still visible that morning demonstrates the extraordinary intensity of the eruption. This eruption marked Steamboat's first major eruption since mid-April 2025, ending a months-long period of relative calm. Steamboat Geyser is known for its extreme cycles. Until 1961, the geyser had been dormant for more than five decades before its massive eruption, surprising scientists. According to the National Park Service NPS, Steamboat's unpredictable nature is influenced by changes in underground thermal energy one of which was triggered by the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake. This massive earthquake is believed to have significantly altered Yellowstone's hydrothermal system. After remaining relatively quiet throughout the early 2000s, Steamboat awakened again in March 2018, spewing a giant column of steam confirming that the magmatic system beneath Yellowstone remains active. Located in the northern part of the park, in a highly acidic environment, Steamboat is Yellowstone's tallest geyser and the world's tallest active geyser. The surrounding area is filled with fumaroles, mud pools, hot springs, and colorful thermal pools. The latest eruption demonstrates that, although Steamboat appears calm on the surface, its interior remains in constant turmoil. During an eruption, jets of water and steam can shoot more than 500 feet into the air, resembling a giant white tower carved from the heat haze. According to the NPS, Steamboat's roar can be heard more than a mile away. Tourists and residents often report tremors and low-pitched sounds that accompany the geyser's awakening after a long period of quiescence.
Eruptions typically begin with a short but powerful jet of water, followed by a prolonged phase of steam release. The hot water flows down slope, carrying silica that coats the surface soil and vegetation. The impact is quite devastating. Several lodgepole pine trees near the geyser have reportedly died or snapped due to the pressure from the eruption. Wooden bridges in the surrounding area have also frequently cracked or collapsed after sudden eruptions. The situation was further exacerbated by a major 6.4 magnitude earthquake that struck the Yellowstone region around the same time. This earthquake raised concerns among scientists because of its potential to affect the hydrothermal and magmatic systems beneath the national park. Due to its extreme and unpredictable behavior, Steamboat Geyser is now the focus of intensive research. The combination of massive geyser activity and major earthquakes makes Yellowstone a valuable natural laboratory for understanding Earth's dynamics, while also reminding the world of the geological forces constantly at work beneath the surface.